BPI reached out to me, wanted me to test some of their stuff out and see how I liked it. Um, so far, it's been about two weeks. Uh, I'm not really much of a pre-workout guy. I'm not much of a supplement guy to begin with. You know, I, I do everything through food and through proper training and through sleep. But once you get all that dialed in, you get some of the right supplements, you can take things up a good five to 10% in your training. Try the pre-workout snow cone flavor. It's pretty good. Um, I get a pretty good energy spike at the beginning of the workout don't crash throughout the rest of the workout so it's a pretty good pre-workout um, then they also gave me some amino acids and some protein to try out so what I do is I'll mix the protein and amino acids together for uh, intra workout drink um, my only native would be the amino acids are pretty sweet tasting so it tastes more like a kool-aid um, which doesn't really sit well with my stomach while I'm training so I just dilute it by adding in just a, a lot more water than it needs but besides that recovery is going pretty well workouts are going really good so so far so good with the products I'm gonna keep trying them out and let you guys know but I give them a thumbs up What's going on guys? Gonna take you through a little deadlift workout. Uh, the plan today was to just do some heaviest triples, uh, just maintaining proper form, proper technique, and trying not to jerk the bar. Um, the, the goal is to like lift the weight as quietly as possible right now while my back's still a little tweaked and while I'm just trying to dial in the form. And what this is gonna allow me to do, it's gonna, it's gonna allow me to really dial in my technique and dial in my form. So as the meat prep continues, I'll have that pretty much dialed in to the most part. So when you know I'm three to two weeks out, I can really go for it and just kind of see what happens. You know, so doing things slower, doing things in more controlled, leading up to a meet is a good way to put on some serious size, to build on your technique, and to kind of perfect it. You know, because the slower you move, the tighter you're gonna be. The uh, the more the time under tension, so it's going to increase uh, muscle damage, which is going to increase muscle growth, you know, things like that. So not everything, you know, in powerlifting has to be lifted with maximal speed or just ripping it up. Just lifting it to lift it is no longer, you know, necessary. You know, doing things slower, doing things more controlled is a great way to build and build up a lot of muscle and some really good technique. So after the deadlifts worked up to uh, 550 or 250 kilograms, something like that, and did three sets of three there, went on to do some squats with 415, did five sets of doubles, um, kind of the same principle as with the uh, deadlifts earlier in the week is just practice, 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 and working with Chris and having a few uh, technique cues to get everything going, make everything perfect is just what I'm working on. I uh, just want to show you like a quick little setup of how I get ready, um, get underneath the bar. I try to keep my elbows under the bar as much as possible and really pull down with my hands to engage my lats and create a tighter shelf and try to stay as upright in the torso as possible and keep my elbows under the bar as much as I can. I see a lot of people with their elbows up high behind the bar so they, they feel like it's a comfortable way to put it so the bar stays on there and that's just the sign of having not the strongest setup to begin with so you want to really dial in your technique of uh, setting up the low bar or high bar and getting your back as tight as possible for me I like to pitch my shoulder blades tight together once I do that I'll pull down on the bar to engage my lats and that creates a little bit more of a shelf and gets everything really locked in um, so just try that out and see how it works for you after that moved on to doing some Dorian deadlifts worked up to 405 for two sets of six beltless. Um, everything's feeling really good. I'm really happy with the progress that I'm making on the deadlifts. Technique is getting dialed in, so I can't really complain. And then after these uh, Dorian deadlifts, went on to do some back work and do some hamstring work, just some light bodybuilding stuff. And uh, after that, did a little bit of mobility just to keep my hips fresh. And if I can continue on with this, uh, this mobility stuff that I'm learning from the chiropractor, then I should be able to do my squats and my sumo pulls 
at the same time um, because as you know I switched to sumo to conventional because my hips were just taking a beat and so if I can keep working on that and building that then I'll definitely be able to switch back which is going to be good because I'm a lot stronger at sumo than I am at conventional so we'll see I'll keep you guys updated on that check out the website see you guys next time